Young Dolph. You said you like Young Dolph now. But he's all right. He's not, you know, blowing my mind. He ain't Kodak. This doesn't make any sense, but, and my argument is that nobody has a good album. Yeah. There's no albums that are like, you can listen to from start to finish that are super good that you can do continuously forever. I don't think the human, the human like experience is built for that. Built for that. Like, and that's why I don't think albums. I think albums were built for that because they sold like that as packages of songs back in the day. They were actual albums. Like you had to put them out like that. You couldn't drop singles on vinyl because. Yeah, it made sense. I'm you said that the Young Dolph out, you didn't like the whole album start. There's not that many albums on the planet that you like that you finish. can get through start to finish without That's very true. Song. in any genre. Shorter ones are better. I know that people are going to argue this, but Kendrick Lamar, a storytelling album, blah, blah, blah. Oh, if you listen to the Kindergarten backwards, yeah. Ghostface Killers, fuck, I, Supreme I get it. Supreme there, But there's nothing that you can just be like, unless you're just deep into it. Into that person and you just Which is what you really matters. are, is a fan of the person. Yeah. Which is why you love Kodak. Yes. you're just a fan you're... of him as a person. Yes. But... I think you're making fun of him, which is not cool. I'm not making fun of him. I love his music. I think you treat him like a clown. <coughs> no, no. It's okay. You got me wrong. But Little Peep, so I listened to that album for the first time yeah, because, ever. Because, <laughs> because Ern, met, Ern met the goth boy click this weekend, but didn't realize it. And so now he's finally delving into the goth boy click music. Mainly. He likes to get into everything. I like polite like people. people. And those guys were super nice. I had no idea who I was talking to. Shout they were out just to Kill Station. You're the one that yeah. turned him on to the Kill Station. <laughs> Shout out to Kill Station for real. And came up, he's like, I'm Kill Station and I'm from another planet. And I was like, oh, that's what's up. Uh, when we left, Teddy told him, enjoy your stay however long you're here at our planet. Yeah, Kill Station, Cold D Heart. There is cold a heart. cold heart on T Grizzly. Have Tom you heard T music, Grizzly? Music update. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because that song is great. That first day out. It ain't Kodak's first day out, but it's another good first day out. I'm wilding now. Oh, uh, this must be the. So this must be a piece of glass because he's sent. How big is this fucking glass? I think that it's probably just secured in all of Hopefully. this. Hopefully, I hope it's a dab rig the size of your sink. That's pretty rad. Oh. That's super cool. Here. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> There's a whole other thing. What? The fuck? <laughs> oh shit. Is there a ladder? I don't know. Oh, shit. This is wild. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this one has the logo. Oh there. shit. Wow. Oh my god. I'm gonna rip one right now, let's go. What's in here, another bomb? <laughs> this is Omar one? How many are down here? Get up, bub. Nice. Yeah. To preserve the artistic integrity of the bong, we're not gonna hit it right now. Maybe tomorrow. Hopefully. You're leaving, right? Yeah, I'm out. All right. Let's see it. What, this is awkward handshake. Because I was going to go like Peace. this. I wasn't even going to uh, shake your hands. Bye. Nice. When do we shake hands? We never do. Yeah. I ready to know. Okay. Cool. Um, wait, do I have everything? I don't even know what I'm doing. How many battery things? Yeah, that. All right, so there's no mic plugged in because there's no mic battery. Brought back the batteries from LA. None of them are charged. They should have all been charged. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Start off because this morning I started off with no what? Today you had no battery for the camera. Now we're at no batteries. No batteries for the mic and we're only at a little battery for the camera. We're charging three of them. Look at this one. This one's already bugging out. This is giving me a fucking bullshit. It says that one's 90%. Fucking see. There's no mic. Going to see Black Panther. We're stopping to get batteries. We're going to the Alamo Draft House Cinema because you can eat there and it's a lot roomier and you can drink there. In the meantime, we have a box to open. Uh, this is just like glass parts for someone sent me like a dab root. Dab root. Oh. Uh, like bangers. Oh. I don't know that it's really going to be that exciting. Well, unboxing. Maybe if we put music behind it. Maybe. Like something funky. We're doing this in front of the green screen so that we could just do a waterfall and. But yeah, now I can put like a waterfall. Yeah. Or space. Yeah. Or like a horse running. It's perfect. Whatever we want. All right, we got stuff. Holy shit, they sent like. What? A banger after banger in here. Like, dog. Oh, horse banger after horse banger. Jeez. All, all the bangers. Nice. Shout out to Cloud. Nice. 
gives you the cooldown time even. Nice. Look, and then I zoomed out so you can see around the green screen. So it'll just be a waterfall with you and then in your living room. Yeah, let's just send you some. All oh, these are like the super thick ones like that too. Oh shit. The heat's up crazy. You should just take a dab, huh? So Takashi 69 album. Great. Crazy. Very hard. Very gym like gym worthy. Yeah. Like I need to go deadlift 7,000 pounds. Or there. snowboarding. Yeah, it's like very... It's aggressive for the snowboard mountain. I mean, yeah. I like it for like a run, maybe. Warm up. Yeah. I don't know that I want to see a family of six and be like, bam, bam, bam. 27 minutes. It's quick. It's perfect. I think that's the move. Yeah, I mean, what's my man going to do three verses on each song? Like, what? <laughs> exactly. It's perfect, yeah. dude. He needs to drop an R&B track. The Young Thug song is a little weird. Yeah. I like it, though. I like the beat. The beat on the last song. Oh yeah, the that chocolate song or whatever. I think it's just chocolate. It have an accent on it? I don't believe so. Hold on. You're just so romantic that you just chocolate to everything. <laughs> no, wait a minute. You're like, hey, can I get a Hershey's chocolate bar? No, it has an accent. No way. It has an accent on the. Funny. <laughs> That's funny. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> I can't That's even funny. get the fucking focus. Yeah. I'm not putting it in the vlog anyway. <laughs> One day it'll be a super cut of all the things I leave out. <laughs> where yeah. you're right and I'm wrong. People are like, God damn it. I'm old. That'll satisfy people who think I was mean to you at 747. They're like, oh, see, Teddy, you're not always right. Gummo, you ever see the movie? Uh, what am I doing? Yes, I've seen the movie. High school with that kid. The movie? Jacob Reynolds, that weird looking motherfucker from Gummo. Gummo, the fucking with the weird shaped head. He's in my high school. Surprised you weren't gonna. I should have been. Your boy Rack is going in. On Drake. On Drake. Yeah. Your feelings on the Drake thing? My feelings on the Drake thing? <laughs> on Drake coming over to to the Adidas side? One, first off, I don't think there's been anything that's been confirmed. Oh. I think they just met. So that's first, so I don't. Anyone that's like already like a cop or whatever is just blindly allegiant to Drake, which is fine. If that's if you're a fan of him, like that's your shit. Or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't make a lot of sense for him. Like I don't like rapper shoes. A lot. Yeah. Or just like inner, even like movie star or like celebrity shoes to a point are kind of weird to me. For people always say like Pharrell and Kanye West about like that. Like, Pharrell is already like super into fat, like, they're both yeah. fashion people, you know what I mean? Like, Kanye, Pharrell, you don't even have to like talk about, but Kanye's been super vocal about wanting to be in fashion, wanting to create and do all these things. You hear that shit from Drake. Drake, so, yeah. And, and I'm not saying that he doesn't want to do it or that he shouldn't be allowed to or whatever, but I think it's more of just a business deal than anything. Like, it just makes monetary oh, yeah. sense. But I think the Nike, the Nike Drake stuff is terrible. It's like just black and gold colorways, so it's like... Yeah. I don't know. It's not something that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Looking forward to Black Panther. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I don't either. I just, the last, what movie did he pop up in? Uh, the Black Panther? Yeah, the last, the oh, last part of one of the, Avengers know, or... Is this a Marvel movie or DC movie? Hopefully it's Marvel. It's Marvel. But anyway, I saw him in that and it was like... You know, a new character. He's not a new character. He was actually, you know, there was an old comic book. He was a comic book character. Really? really? Yeah. Anything? Yeah. Oh, that gotta be nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what is my, what is the appropriate response? Leave in the comments what the appropriate response to that statement. Teach me how to be more, teach me to be more patient. He was actually in a comic book, this Marvel movie character. No, but you know, sometimes... Like, was there a Jessica Jones comic book? Exactly, it's a Marvel TV show. That probably was a Jessica Jones. You're just so sexist and you don't think women can do as much as men. That's so not a show. So you don't think that they have their own comic book? Oh, it, no, it, they do. Yeah, so there you go. That, mm. one, that case was cracked wide open. But in, they do. Yeah, so there you go. That, mm. one, that case was cracked wide open. But in 2001, that happened. So. so what? So it has to be old to be considered a fucking creation? No, Why no. Why aren't you wearing the fucking Black Cement 3s right now? You feel like a hypocrite? Should we twitch for 45 minutes? Should I start set it off? Everyone will be shocked. The champ is back. We can, you know. People are dying to watch me play. <laughs> you can't even say it with a straight face. I don't 
think anyone's dying to watch you play. Uh, <laughs> we're about to find out. I'm gonna set it up. Nice. <laughs> Fabulous beginning. Okay. Any day now, my man. Okay. Boy, it's cracking shots and shots. Oh, yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Oh, let's see if I can beat it. I have 50. Okay, we're going to get out of here. We're going to get up the stairs. We're going like to. fucking bleeding deer. This reminds me of Bambi. He's running up on you like a motherfucking prom date, son. You're over. It's over. <laughs> Go again. How's the knee feeling? Are we going snowboarding yeah, next week? Good. Think maybe this. Is... Nice. Nice. There it is. I'm good. You're good. Let's. We might as well just go snowboarding right let's, now. Let's go, Brady. Let's go. I'll go right now, but we got you. Got a night ski with me. We got to stay till eight. Oh, my night ski. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm good to go. Trouts. Complimentary air cuts. Hmm. I'll get my chest waxed in your lobby. <laughs> to see the Panther, the Black Panther movie. Yep. We're getting lunch at the movies. And it's the same price as them damn bags of candy anyway. Yeah, it's definitely Turn a move. left onto West 11. You didn't murder this child. Oh, oh man. God. It says don't. Oh, it no, doesn't. No, no. It, it says, says he has five seconds. Plenty of time. Right I don't know anything about this. I know it's like the origin story of it, but I don't know. <laughs> other than that, he's from Africa. I'm assuming. Whoa. Whoa. Racist. <laughs> Fucking. Racist. Have you seen the costumes? I mean, it looks like very traditional African. Um, it's not racist. You better hope not. <laughs> All right, kiddo, out the street. That was a child. In 2.3 yeah, miles, the destination is on your right. Oh, on Stewart Street. All right, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I'm in trouble. We gotta smoke this joint, man. Light that shit. I ain't scared. Fucking fuck, fuck these cops. Alright. Free Kodak. Free Kodak. Free Kodak. Free your your free dirty yard. <laughs> free dirty yard. That'll be the next shirt. Yes! You need to get arrested. I will. I'm Sorry. gonna go home and smack the shit out of Brandon. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Whoa. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> just so that you'd say well, but don't put that in the vlog. Oh, let's go with the vlog. <laughs> just mentioned that I said turn right, and as soon as you turn right, there's an open parking space. Yeah, I think I gotta Do read the sign when we get out. I willed that into existence. Or? I think you did, but I think we need to. The other thing with me get, oh, dude, it could fuck up our travel plans if I get arrested. Wow. Court. Oh, yeah, that's true. Black Panther. That was great. You liked it? Yeah, I thought it was good. It kept me into it the whole time. But I didn't know it was going to be all like, uh, it reminds me of Thor in like the fantasy world sense thing. Like I thought it would be more, I was going to tell his origin story and then be based in like nowadays with the Avengers and that kind of thing. But it wasn't, but it was pretty rad. What do you mean? You thought they were just gonna like breeze over how he became the? I thought Panther. he was gonna become the Path Black Panther. Do like, um, you know, that fight scene in the beginning. He becomes a Black Panther, then he heads to Cali to like uh, battle Clean in the, up streets. the streets. Yeah, that's what I think. Because most of the superhero stories are. This is a superhero movie, more of a uh, commentary on well, yeah, civil I, unrest. Continues. Yeah, there was a lot of commentary. Right a lot of social right commentary in the Black Panther. Not all bad. I believe at the end of the day, it's just that you are your enemy. Keep slogan. right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, I mean, it's weapons. We got, we got weapon. We got weapon talk. In a quarter mile, should we make left stronger weapons? Should we keep right. the weapons. Yeah. We got fucking power struggles. Yeah, shit. Yeah. We got. Do we help the outsiders well, or do we, you know, do we let the um, control. the refugees in or do yeah. we not let them in? But it was an entertaining movie. Yeah. A yeah. little bit. 
Seems like, and it doesn't, at first, I was like, oh, this is like an Iron Man formula or whatever. Yeah, like that's what I would. Trinkets and treasures and shit. Yeah. But I think it's kind of needed. You know, it's like. Yeah. I think they have to add that method to the. He played a good part. So he made for a good bad guy. Who, Michael Jordan? That's who that is. I didn't love him as a bad guy. I think I like I like him, you know, like I've been using the yeah. wire, so obviously I love him, but I didn't really love him as a bad guy. Though. Maybe that's because you've known him from the wire yeah. and other things. I, I knew he looked familiar, but I didn't know what he was from, and I was just like, I like this guy. He wasn't really bad. He was, but he's just, it's just a hurt of his environment, child. dog. Yep, another social commentary. All social commentary. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, that was a good movie. Thank you, Teddy. Your order has been accepted. Motherfucking Pharrell's. Motherfucking Pharrell's. Are you Pharrell? Yeah, I'm Pharrell. I got the Pharrell's. We got a weed spot open. Unless somebody takes it. Yeah, you know, let's go hit up the weed spot since it's smoked a fucking ounce in two days. Yeah. That's the biggest question is people are like, how much do you spend on weed a week? And I'm like, I don't know. Normally not as much, but. Yeah. Ever since LA, we're smoking way more. Do you have five bucks cash? No, I don't think I have any fucking cash. Weed spot, I probably do it for I free. do. Sometimes they do, they have this new dick in there now who, like, they charge you for the full Yo, tell 15. them who the fuck you are, but I'm dirty motherfucking iron, son. Charge. Google me, bitch. Right. I'm missing. Don't tell anybody where I'm at. All right, Dude, right let's back. go. Oh. Okay. I am home from Los Angeles. I've been home because I've been editing as you- The last three days. Whole footage, uh, full intentions to edit the whole time I was in LA, but catching up on sleep from LA. LA was amazing. I had a great time. Shout out to everybody that came to the pop up. Shout out to Ben Harith. Shout out to John Wexler. Uh, pretty much everybody that I came into contact with. Everyone at Adidas that I came into contact with. Shout out to you. Just shout outs all around. Amazing experience. Working with Ben, Maker's Lab, pretty much, pretty, pretty awesome, as you guys could probably tell. So, um, yeah, great, great stuff. Um, let's see, so, what is going on? Um, there's been a lot, there's been a lot. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Uh, shoes, a lot of shoes in the mail, a couple, we got a couple of shoes to look at from the 747 event. Uh, Happy Cry dropped, this dropped in LA, we, well, this color didn't drop, but the black ones dropped. This restocks on, well, this stocks on Sunday, we're doing the Happy Cry, release the first online release other than what was left over in LA. That will be Sunday at 10 a.m. There's also new You Are Your Enemy designs dropping. Only t-shirts and long sleeves right now. Hoodies are on like crazy back order. We have like, we have a ton of money tied up in hoodie orders that just haven't shipped yet. So we're waiting on them and we can't for anything. But this drop is this weekend, 10 a.m. Sunday. Uh, long sleeves, short sleeves, and Happy Cry actually is gonna come in a pack of t-shirts which is two t-shirts and a long sleeve for $60. Happy cry, I'm super excited. I'll explain to you guys what it all means very soon. Um, what else? Uh, shoes, I got a few pairs of shoes. There's a bunch of shoes on the way. Pharrell's dropped today, got those. Other than that, man, it's just back to business as normal. And today we're gonna talk about the very expensive, maybe not worth it, maybe worth it to you, I don't know. Uh, Y3 uh, BYW B-Ball is the actual name of it. Also coined the James Harden Y3 BYW. Here, there are two colorways that were teased at uh, Paris Fashion Week. This is the colorway James Harden wore on his Instagram, this is the black pair. There's a black and cream pair or cream and white pair, I guess it would be. I think it's black and cream. Um, the price tag on this shoe, I can't remember the actual price. I wanna say it was 465, 425. It was over 400 bucks. I wanna say it was like 465. BYW B-Ball. And then this is the BYW. So you can see they are similar, but they are not the same. That is for sure. There is a lot of stuff going on in this shoe. At first it looks like just another black, like another black shoe. Um, it definitely takes you like getting into it and paying attention to what's going on to really see the features of it. And I don't know that that's worth it for everybody. You have to be kind of a shoe nerd, fashion nerd. Uh, there's different panelings, but mostly knit and stretchy. Really not a lot of features attached to the shoe itself. Uh, one of the things that I learned about in the Creator Lab, which I kind of already knew, but a clarification on is how Adidas and I'm assuming Y3 are building onto the knits themselves to add supportive areas. 
instead of adding too many features to the shoe and different parts to different pieces could totally change the vibe and functionality of that shoe. So this is a cool shoe. I, at first, when I got it out of the box, I was like, this isn't worth $465, no way, 500 bucks basically. Y3 is like high fashion brand, it's always more expensive. A lot of the stuff ends up going on sale also, so you can find Y3 for cheap, you don't have to go crazy, but this shoe itself, I don't even know when, if, where it's gonna release, I have no clue. That's why I picked them up, because I like them. They may end up going on sale one day, but BYW B-Ball, which people are calling the Harden, um, and I believe James Harden was the one that unveiled these. They showed up at Fashion Week, and there's also cues taken from the Harden one. You have the toe guard, toe guard, which was present on Harden one. This one's a nice premium suede, and then you have Yoji Yamamoto's signature stitched onto the tongue, onto the suede. Uh, one interesting thing about this, and I think this is exactly how the Kasaris are. I didn't cop the Kasaris because of the upper, but this one, it has the stitch line that runs up into this piping and makes the lace set, which is really cool. And then when you pull it around, it kind of tightens this whole upper. That's a really cool functionality, how it just straps. It literally goes one line, zigzags, and then cuts around to the back, connecting the other lace, which is just, I just think that's super cool. So you have this honeycomb knit that makes up the entire upper. Uh, again, the suede and leather is handled on top of that. And then towards the ankle and back, there's a neoprene sock. So the shoe's super comfortable. It's not like the PK version or the level one version. It's not as flexy by any means, but still super, super comfortable. The neoprene is basically, you can't even feel it. Very, very comfy. And then this honeycomb knit, which I actually got to, is actually the same material that the blue section of the BYW I made is made out of. It is stretchy and breathable, but not prominent stretchy. Still super comfortable. That suede toe box, on the other hand, is making a huge difference. <clears throat> You're just not gonna feel that toe flex. At first, I didn't really like it, but after wearing them all day, it doesn't really bother me. It's just a stiffer fit and stiffer feel completely. Just, just don't expect that flex. Uh, the boost on this boost you wear is definitely shaped differently and just trimmed down differently. It's not the same as the level one. The gap between this medial plate is shorter. There's just less distance between the boost pods in this model as well. Medial cage also made of a nice leather. Uh, Y3 branding on the tongue, as I said, signature on the toe. And then that's pretty much it for branding other than Homeboy. We still have BYW Homeboy. I can't remember his name. Someone said his name the other day. It was like Larry or I can't remember. Regular black, kind of waxy Y3 laces. And of course, what's obvious, uh, as I said, the boost shape has changed and then there's this guard on the outside. Uh, there's a guard in the middle boost pod, which a lot of people are calling like a cup, like for a protective sports cup, which I don't really understand, I, I guess, to a point. I mean, I don't know, it's weird to think about, but uh, yeah, I like it. I think it makes the shoe look super hard on feet, uh, no pun intended. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes it look tougher. It just looks like a tough ass shoe. So I like the little cup, or whatever you want to call it. So I don't have a problem with it. I think it's a cool, nice little feature. Don't think it's functional in any way. Um, as far as playing basketball on these, I don't know. Like for the same thing, they don't feel like any of the other basketball shoes that I wear. They really feel much more lifestyle-ish to me. I just don't really see anybody that would play basketball in them or want to, but people play in the level ones and they're fine as well, even though it's not meant for basketball. So I don't really, I don't really have a clue. Um, I don't think that it's meant for it. Uh, you can't really see it. There is a leather insole that comes out. It's a little thick, so I think you could possibly have size down if you had to. I prefer my true size, but if you're into removing the insoles, you could. But this insole actually feels a little cushy to me. Like, it might be nice to have it in there. So I would probably just stick with my true size. To me, half sizing down wasn't even something that crossed my mind. But it's also not tight. It's not a tight shoe around the ankle, everything. It's just, it's, it's comfortable. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Yoji. Uh, and on the inside of the shoe, there is also a chrysanthemum. On the inside of the shoe, there is also a peony. Peony, however you say it. Uh, uh, the peony, also known as a botan flower, is the king of flowers. This I know from tattooing, a lot of times you put the king flower with um, a strong animal as well, like in design. It's a symbol of bravery, honor, nobility, respect, good fortune, was noted uh, as features of James Harden on and off court. They actually have a release, so these will actually release, I believe, in April. So we'll see how much, or how well that sells. That's a nice touch, even though you can't see it. I like it, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, that's the Y3 B-Ball, inspired by James Harden. Price point is crazy. 
I don't want to advise you to yes pick them up or not pick them up. But I got them. Like after wearing them today, I think they're cool. It's a unique shoe that's in this BYW realm. And we're getting a lot of BYW stuff. There's been the Bristols, there's been different levels, there's the X. I don't have all of them yet, but they'll all be here shortly. But yeah, so there's, this is just another version, a very expensive version, a very premium material version, and then it's got just a bunch of extra tricks from the Y3 camp, basically. So um, yeah, it's up to you to decide whether you think it's worth it or not. My job is just to show you and tell you. But that's the shoe, boom, boom, boom. That's the week. We're done. I have the AM4 LAs to take a look at too. These? We'll take a look at these later. Um, that's the that's the week. So I'm out of here. There may be a vlog tomorrow. I don't know. I'll surprise you if there is. We'll see. There's like a sneaker event in Denver. So I might roll through. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so sneaker event tomorrow maybe. Drop on Sunday. And then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program on Monday. All right. Stay safe out there. Peace.